But first, it's one of the few treatments shown to fight COVID-19, and the large federal study on remdesivir has just entered a new phase. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain how scientists are trying to find the perfect cocktail against the virus. Remdesivir is made by a California company called Gilead Sciences. They have offices in Oceanside. Researchers have already shown the drug can help COVID patients recover faster. Now they're adding new ingredients in hopes of making it more effective. A federal study found remdesivir can shorten recovery time in hospitalized COVID patients from 15 days to 11 days on average. But some San Diegans who took it think it saved their life. People were still dying. I almost died. When I went to the ER, I felt so bad. I had pretty much resigned myself that I wouldn't make it. Remdesivir was originally designed for Ebola, but was never approved. It works by interrupting the virus's ability to replicate. But patients with a serious coronavirus infection have a second problem, shown in green and yellow in this virtual view, inflammation from the immune system. That's why the remdesivir trials are now exploring a cocktail approach. It was thought that, wow, a really cool, sweet spot would be, okay, I'm having remdesivir. That will deal with the virus from making more virus children. And then I'm having this drug, which will help the inflammation part. Dr. Peter Chin Hong is a clinician at UC San Francisco and is involved with the federal study. He says researchers tried their first cocktail combination in May, and while the numbers get crunched, they've begun testing their second cocktail this month, remdesivir and a drug called interferon beta. Interferon beta is something we naturally produce to fight viruses, and studies have shown we probably don't produce enough. The people who do poorly don't produce enough of this, so let's try and get uh, people a little extra with this drug. Interferon beta can reduce inflammation and kill viruses. So doctors hope it's a good one-two punch with remdesivir's ability to slow the coronavirus down. Starting this month, some patients will get remdesivir only, some will get a placebo, and some will get the cocktail. This kind of clinical trial is called an adaptive trial. It's similar to an eye test. One drug gets compared to another drug, and then whatever one looks better gets compared to something new. Doctors say they'll keep going and going until they find a combination that's really effective. Now, there has been some controversy surrounding Gilead Sciences. Derek is joining us now on this story. And Derek, it has to do with the price and the availability of remdesivir. Yeah, Gilead Sciences has signed several licensing deals so that people around the world can get access to this drug, and people in developing parts of the uh, world will be able to get the generic version. However, critics say that because of the nature of these deals, people in the United States will only have access to the name brand version, which is more expensive. Gilead has set the price of the name brand version at more than $3,000 for a typical five-day regimen. It's for people with private health insurance. The company says... That's a fair price given the circumstances, but critics say it's too high given that Gilead received about $70 million from the federal government mm -hmm. to develop this drug. And I think most people would agree. Derek, thank you for that in-depth look.